welcome to my course's third online graduation ceremony. My name is Mata Moyo, and I'm going to be your program director for this event. I'm sure none of us would have thought that by now we would still be talking about the COVID pandemic. Yet here we are. The pandemic is still very much with us. Fortunately, the numbers have decreased drastically and we are now beginning to ease into the way things have always been. It is graduation ceremonies such as this one that makes us see that life has to still go on and that we need to celebrate every achievement that we get. So today we are going to celebrate the class of 2021. Hala la bangena bandona benga bache bangena beyikisela imiyesane ikani mentosi bato kwa pele kwa la kona i bola ba ababude wasi chilelepo isisuba sokanya imentosa matajana ba puma sebenga yesana na pele pele la kona lokuka yesuba bo ukumia mabya nyamala. Professor Magnet in Tombella will now constitute this graduation ceremony. By the powers vested in me by Mancosa, I now declare this congregation duly constituted. Thank you, Professor Tombella. I now call upon Ms. Jabuli Lentiko to lead us in prayer. Good day. Let us bow our heads in prayer. Today, our graduates complete a final step in their studies. It has been a journey of hard work and sacrifice, of challenges and frustrations, of commitment towards achieving their goals, and now a day to celebrate their success. And so today we pray, dear Lord, as our graduates anticipate their positions in life and in business, we thank you for bestowing upon them the blessing of success in their studies and of reaching graduation. We give you thanks for assisting them to successfully complete this part of their journey. We ask that you give them grace and deep humility to practice what they have studied. We pray that they have patience, courage, honesty, and strength to shoulder the responsibility of uplifting their communities and society. Assist them to be formidable and fair in all their dealings and to be polite and firm in their relationships. Above all, may they respect and love their families for they too have had difficult journeys and yet they have supported and encouraged our graduates in their studies. Bless all those who have helped our graduates to succeed. As we continue to live in this time of responding to the COVID-19 pandemic, grant to all of us and our families health, wisdom, strength, grace, and patience to keep each other safe. And may we persevere in facing the challenges this pandemic has brought upon us, mindful that you journey with us. Compassionate God, we thank you for having allowed our graduates and their families to touch our lives. Amen. Thank you, Ms. Diko. I call upon Ms. Baketi Lemangena who will do the official welcome. Thank you, Mrs. Martha Moyo. A special dedication to this year's graduation goes to our founding father, the late Professor Yusuf Kurodium. To our newly appointed principal, Professor Magnet Ndombela, congratulations to you, sir and we cannot wait to see your journey unfold. Another warm welcome is extended to our academic exco, our honoris family from all over the world, executive directors, academic team, our dynamic administrative support structures, external stakeholders, our dear parents, fellow graduates, and a pleasant warm welcome to you all. It is such a pleasure to share in the intensity of emotions at this particular moment. You are still wondering where the years have gone by as you rejoice in your success. Some of you have braved illness and other personal challenges and losses. With all that is happening in the world about the COVID-19 pandemic, take a moment of silence for those that did not make it today, those that put in all the work but did not make it to share this moment with you 
and their families. Congratulations. You have tailored your degrees and career path to represent who you are and what matters to you. I see a student body that has questioned the status quo and motivated this college as well as each of us to fulfill its pledge of dream it will take you there. This is our history and this is the responsibility that comes with your degree. Congratulations for your achievement. I leave you with this quote from Maya Angelou, open quote, if you're always trying to be normal, you will never know how amazing you can be. Close quote. Thank you, Ms. Mangena. My course recently lost its two founding fathers, Professor Yusuf Karodia and Professor Naren Bana. We owe a great deal to their tenacity, courage, and vision in starting this remarkable institution. We are proud to continue with their legacy of bringing the best quality higher education to every South African and to changing lives. We will now broadcast a tribute to Professor Karodia and Professor Bana. the principal of Menkosa, Professor Magnet Ntombela, to give the principal's address, I would like to give a brief background of Professor Ntombela. Professor Ntombela is the recently appointed principal of Menkosa following the sad and untimely passing of the legendary Professor Yusuf Karodia, founder and principal of Menkosa. Before joining Menkosa, Professor Ntombela held the position of KZN Regional Director at the University of South Africa, UNISA. Under his leadership, UNISA KZN won four PMR awards, gold in 2006, silver in 2009, and diamond in 2010 and 2011. Prior to his long spell with UNISA, 
Professor Ntombela was the director of the Center for the Advancement of Science and Mathematics Education, CASMEN. He has the following educational qualifications. A secondary teacher's diploma and bachelor of science from the University of Zululand, an advanced diploma in adult education from the University of Natal, now UKZN, a Master of Professional Studies from Cornell University in the United States, a Master of Education from Leeds University in the United Kingdom, and he was conferred his professorship at a ceremony at the Novosibirsk University in Russia in 2018. Professor Ntombela serves on the boards of many educational not-for-profit organizations that include CASME and the Environment and Language Education Trust. While working at CASME, Professor Ntombela co-authored the Science Alive school textbook series and presented papers at national and international science education conferences. Professor Ntombela is passionate about community development and the advancement of education for the 21st century. Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my pleasure to call upon Professor Magnet Ntombela to deliver the principal's address. Thank you, Program Director. It is impossible not to note with sadness that this is the first series of graduations we are having since the sad passing of the legendary Professor Yusuf Karodia the founder of Mancosa. He will forever be fondly remembered and sorely missed. I wish to acknowledge the following people. The executive leadership of Mancosa under the leadership of the managing director, Mr. Mohamed Goga. The leadership of Honoris United Universities, especially the CEO, Dr. Lo, Mancosa Senate, and Mancosa staff. Let me also acknowledge in a special way the new Mancosa graduates being honored today. Together with your families and friends, we share in the joy of your success. For over a year now, the COVID-19 pandemic has forced us to conduct graduations virtually as we adhere to safety protocols prescribed for whatever lockdown level we are in. We remain optimistic that as a country, we will prevail against this pandemic. In the meantime, we will not allow this new normal to dampen our excitement. This remains a joyous occasion for all of us. Thank you for choosing Mancosa as your travel partner on the important journey just completed. In life, more so now than ever before, change is a given. If you do not progress and stand still, you are in fact moving backwards. We are proud of you, our graduates, and we are thankful that you did not quit even when we had to pivot in the middle of the journey and deliver our academic services differently. You stayed the cause. We applaud your resilience and thank all of those who supported you. Parents, grandparents, spouses, children, colleagues, friends, and fellow students. This ceremony marks the point where we at Mancosa proudly present you to the country and the world as the new brand of 21st century leaders, knowledgeable, professional, tech savvy, ethical, and with globally relevant emotional intelligence and interpersonal skills. We trust that you will be invaluable assets to your families and to society, and that you will be an inspiration to others. Matiba said, I quote, after climbing a great hill, one only finds that there are many more hills to climb, close quote. When you do identify such new hills, Mancosa, your alma mater, will be there to partner with you on another exciting journey. Wherever you are, please enjoy this ceremony. You have made all of us proud. Please stay safe. I thank you. Thank you, Professor Ntombela. Ladies and gentlemen, we have now come to that part of the program that we have all been waiting for the presentation of our graduates. Sir, I present to you the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements 
for the higher certificate in business management. There are a total number of 91 students graduating in this program. The top achiever for the higher certificate in business management is Lachmi Pile. It gives me great pleasure as a member of the board and senate of Mancosa to congratulate you on the occasion of your graduation. Some of you have obtained certificates and diplomas, others bachelor's degrees and in some cases, master's and doctoral degrees. Some amongst you graduated with distinction. To all of you, do accept my heartiest congratulations. The fact that you have graduated despite the severe turbulence created by the COVID-19 pandemic is to your credit. As you bask in this joyous moment, spare a thought for your loved ones, mainly your parents, who have made enormous sacrifices in supporting you during your period of study at Mancosa. <clears throat> Armed with your certificates and your education at Mancosa, you'll be venturing into a brave new world, one of poverty, of unemployment and uncertainty, but also one of unparalleled opportunities to contribute to the socio-economic development trajectory of our country. In this venture, I wish you well and trust that you would lead a rich and meaningful life as you fulfill your life's ambitions. I present to you the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the higher certificate in local government and development management. There are a total number of 17 students graduating in this program. Top achiever for the higher certificate in local government and development management is Mzamo Brightson Lamini. Hi, my name is Mzamo Brightson. So upon receiving the great news that amongst the high achievers on the program that I was doing, which is local government development and management, I was very excited and I was not expecting the opportunity or to be amongst the high achievers. So I would kindly like to share the following words of advice to the prospective and upcoming student. First and foremost, do not procrastinate. Do not wait for the last minute in order to start with your studies. Start as early as you possibly could because you would never know what could happen. Number two, if you asked to give examples of something, please be practical as possible and give real life examples that make sense. And uh, number three, please kindly ensure that when you read something, you read with understanding, you critically analyze and you reference properly, as well as you apply your mind correctly. And the first and foremost and the last word of advice to the coming student is that 
please kindly take time when you do your assignments and kindly do make sure that each and everything that you present is presentable and it's worth reading take time do not panic and do not rush and happy studying and enjoy your studies and good luck thank you so much i present to you the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the higher certificate in public sector procurement there are a total number of eight students graduating in this program The top achiever for the higher certificate in public sector procurement is Movina Edwina Feiro. In 2020, when virtual graduation ceremonies were introduced, it was met with disappointment and ambivalence. Now that I think about it, what better way to celebrate this milestone for a generation who are born and rooted in the digital space. The youngest of five workplace generations, the future leaders and evolutionists, Generation Z, the digital natives of the world, this is your era to shine, to excel. What makes each and every one of you different? is the fact that you have not only survived a global pandemic, but you have reached an education milestone amidst it. As we become firmly embedded within the age of 4IR, we embark on journeys of continuous transformation. We need to take a moment to remember and pay homage to the late Professor Yusuf Karodia who realized his dream of making education accessible to all. And it is amidst this dream that we are able to create the greatness between the halls and lecture rooms at Mancosa. I would like to take this opportunity to share timeless pieces of advice that I've been privileged to receive during my life. Always bear in mind that the old adage that knowledge is power does not hold true. The true power is how you apply that knowledge. For some of you, your journey into the workplace starts while others seek to achieve greater heights. Never let anyone mar your experience on this journey of life. Surround yourself with positivity Deafen your aura to claims of high unemployment and limited opportunities. Find your space and create a legacy in this global playground that you have unlimited access to. In creating your legacy, never lose sight of your hum humility and humanitarianism. People will only remember the impact that you have made. Richard Branson aptly says, respect is how you treat everyone, not just those you want to impress. Class of 2021, to you and your families, congratulations, because you have worked together as a unit during these precarious times to achieve this. Go out, conquer, and create legacies. I present to you the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the higher certificate in social media and communication. There are a total number of nine students graduating in this program. The top achiever for the higher certificate in social media and communication is Alinda House. Hi fellow and prospective students. My name is Alinda House and I commenced my journey with Mancosa a little over a year ago at the beginning of COVID-19. It was already challenging to find a balance between my work and personal time 
now that I was working remotely from home. So what a daunting task to take on the extra studies during this difficult time. My course content of a higher certificate in social media and communication broadened my knowledge in the wider field of marketing, but was also quite relevant to my current position in a large telecommunication company. It opened my mind to other possibilities and created a hunger to research and learn more about my course topics. I am a wife, mother and full-time career woman. At times you struggle, are too tired or just want to give up, but keep telling yourself to keep your end goal in sight. This could mean an advancement in your current job or create new job opportunities. Thank you, Mancosa, for giving me the skills to grow both personally and professionally. I present to you the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the advanced certificate in financial planning. There are a total number of 22 students graduating in this program. The top achiever for the advanced certificate in financial planning is Francisca Kanisile Shachwayo. Dear graduates, it's a great pleasure for me to be here and welcome you on behalf of Mancosa and myself. What you have achieved is indeed a great goal which you achieved. I am indeed surprised that so many of you have been able to graduate in spite of the dynamics, in spite of the difficult times we all had to experience over the past year and also up to now. I would also like to thank you for the special effort you make during this time. Also, I thank you to your family, to your parents, grandparents, and children. You set an example for the future. I just want to tell you that having achieved your goals now, it's not the end of the story. Please keep on learning. Learn in this magic institution called Mancosa, because development will carry on, and you will be a great contributor to the well-being of yourself and of South Africa as a whole. I thank you for all what you have done and I hope that you will be here again in a couple of years with another degree. And I thank you. God bless you. Sir, I present to you the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the Advanced Diploma in Business Management. There are a total number of 568 students graduating in this program.
top achiever for the advanced diploma in business management is Tashmin Cooper. Good day. My name is Tashmin Cooper and I am proudly a Mancosa graduate. I address you today as a top achiever and it is only with the support of Mancosa and personal commitment that this could have been accomplished. Coming from a chemistry background and being in management sometimes poses a bit of a challenge. The theory is solidified, however, there are business strategies and management skills that can be enhanced to equip oneself to become the full package. This has led me to an interest of the advanced diploma in business management. Being in industry can be a bit tough whilst trying to study at the same time. However, Mancosa support alleviates such struggles. Being in a century where education is key, work commitments and personal commitments may prevent us from progressing. Don't allow it. Mancosa offers affordable, quality and convenient education. Trust me. I usually need a 25-hour day to get everything done. But even with that, I sit before you, a top achiever and Mancosa graduate. You can do it too. Sir, I present to you the candidates who have successfully satisfied the requirements for the postgraduate diploma in risk management. There are a total number of 85 students graduating in this program. The top achiever for the postgraduate diploma in risk management is Ntabileng Caroline Letuka. On behalf of the Mancosa Academic Team, I am honored and pleased to express my congratulations to each of you for this significant accomplishment and well-deserved success. You should be proud of what you have achieved. 2020 was indeed a challenging year for all of us. We experienced losses, sadness, and uncharted emotions. To have studied and succeeded during this time with all the challenges around us was a Herculean effort. If that was not enough, to be graduating is surely an achievement to be particularly proud of. This achievement is the fruit of all the hard work you have put in, and it is your time to celebrate. It is important that I acknowledge your families that have made lots of sacrifices during your journey. They too have worked really hard in order to support and encourage you to successfully complete your studies. This is the first graduation since the untimely pass, uh, passing away of our founder and principal, Professor Yusuf Karodia. Prof Karodia has never missed a graduation ceremony. You graduating would have brought much happiness to Prof Karodia and his testament to the legacy that Prof Karodia has left behind. His presence and leadership will be sorely missed. You are graduating in a tough time. However, 
Historically tough times have always presented more opportunities to those who are willing to put in the effort. You must nurture your entrepreneurial spirit and build on the foundations provided by the qualifications you have obtained. This will surely provide opportunities for yourselves and your broader communities. You are now in a position to find what you truly desire, what you really want, and focus your efforts on these goals. Do not give up until you have accomplished goals you set for yourself. Mancosa graduates are resilient in tough times, and I encourage you to pursue your dreams. This voyage is not a sprint, but rather a marathon. Be patient, take each day as it comes, set little challenges for yourself, and ultimately get to where you want to be at your pace. My advice for you as you graduate is to continue being lifelong learners. Whatever you do, never stop learning, exploring, growing, and challenging yourself to be your best. Thank you. That brings us to the end of the presentation of our graduates. Congratulations to the class of 2021. I now call upon Ms. Roxanne Bosch to move our vote of thanks. To the parents who raised and believed in their children, to the kids that shared their parents with careers and textbooks, to the spouses that sacrificed time, finances and doubled up on household duties, to the friends who brought study snacks and moral support, to the managers and companies who encouraged the pursuit of progression, to the security guard that stayed late to ensure their safety when they were hitting the books, to our staff, both local and international, who have worked relentlessly to ensure the journey of studying was met with success and reward. We honour you, the supporters of our Mancosa graduates, and we thank you for all that you have done to make their dreams a reality. To our graduates, who are now Mancosa alumni, we salute you and we thank you for being ambassadors to an extraordinary legacy and we trust that you will continue growing and achieving in great new dimensions. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Bosch. The principal, Professor Magnet Ntombela, will now dissolve this congregation. By the powers vested in me by Mancosa, I now declare this congregation duly dissolved. Lift up your voices and sing in celebration of